When I get up on new new and when I'm in that thing, I make that body sing. Welcome back to nonsense. Welcome back to nonsense. Welcome back to nonsense. This is the podcast where we talk about nonsense. <laughs> Showbiz, baby! And that's Hollywood. You heard it here first. We are live from Hollywood. Welcome back to another episode of Nonsense, of course. Of course. What I'll, else? I want to jump right in here. Sure. I would like to cheers you. we got to be on the same setting. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Cheers. Mm-hmm. There's some more. I'll take some. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Let the Lord feel it. <coughs> Fill you up. That was a lot. <coughs> you know what? <laughs> I forgot. Stop. <coughs> nope. No. Not yet. <coughs> you forgot the power of... The gold tip. The gold tip. See? That's why usually with Gold Tip, I've been going to, um, not our tried and true purple setting here. We've been going to the lowest setting here. That's correct. So that's what we're doing there. Um, <sighs> in reference, or going back to what I was saying, I want to dive right into the grapefruit. Okay. Okay. I just want to know. Here's the thing, people. Back in 2017, you may know the video. Girls Trip. No, they featured it in Girls Trip, but it went viral from a different movie for, or not a movie, um... Just a video, right? Was, yeah, she's like a sexologist, and she's like, it's like part of her, you know, new things. And she, um, tells you how to give head using a grapefruit, so you use a grapefruit and you suck his dick at the same time. Wow. You may recognize the video, um, because she, like, makes... A very loud, like, she sucking goes, <laughs> yeah, like that. And you're like, she does that, whoa, whoa, and it's like, everyone, it's, like, it's so funny, because it starts out so calm, she's like, and then you just take it, and place it over top, and you just, <laughs> and everyone's like, whoa, 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 did we miss that part? It's like, so loud and aggressive, so it went, it went viral for, like, that reason, Uh huh. but anyways, there's, you know, people have been, rumor has it, grapefruit this, grapefruit that, <laughs> grapefruit I, juice, grapefruit penis, it's all been great, I apparently. tried it. So, take us through the whole step. Like, how did you prep? What did you do beforehand to, like, get yourself ready or the grapefruit ready? Well, so, it was, like, cold. So, they tell you to put it in, like, hot water. Uh Not boiling water, but hot water. So, I let it sit in for what what I thought was long enough. And then you roll it so that it gets all juicy. And you can feel it, like, heating up in there. Yeah. And then you cut off the ends. And then you cut a hole in the middle. And then you place it on his dick. So here where... So here, like... Here where, where my problems arose. Okay. A, well, first of all, let me, let me point back that in the video, she says, it's best that you blindfold your man and do this as a surprise. Yeah. So that he doesn't know what's happening. Yeah, because then he's looking at it being like, this is going to feel weird, other than, like, totally being open to like, the sensation. Oh, yeah, like if you're like trying something new with your I partner. I mean, you should also be like, I'm gonna do this to you during this interaction. Just put a blindfold on the whole time and I won't tell you. You can't just like not tell them at all and then whip out a grapefruit. Could you imagine? Well, They'd like, be like, the what thing, the fuck is the that? Thing. It'd be like if you're like the type of couple that was like, let's Surprising. experience, yeah, like let's experience something. I'm gonna blindfold you. Like, that's hot, right? Like he doesn't know what's going on. I feel then, like. And also I think ideally he has a condom on. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But then if he has a condom on, then what's the fucking point? Like, I literally Like, what are we doing here, guys? So, okay, go on. So, um, so, it was still a little cold in the middle, but Uh we had already cut it up, and I was like, it'll warm up quick. So how long did you let it sit in the water? Like, just until, like, it was, like, it felt warm. Okay. But, um, yeah, so then you suck his dick to, like, get him going, obviously, and, like, get it moist. 
and then I went to place the grapefruit on his dick, and it was, like, a little too small. Uh. I, I felt, I thought that it was going to be, like, and by a little too small, I literally got his dick girth wrong by, like, half the diameter. Oh, no. It was you're just, well, it's hard to cut with a grapefruit, too. You're and like, I, where yeah, am I measuring I, here? I was expecting it to be easier, but it's, like, like you know. It's Anyways, rigid. It's weird. So, I, um, I put it on, but it was, like, too tight, so then I, like, kind of, like, pulled back the grapefruit a bit, and then it was still too tight, and then I was kind of, like, jamming it on, and I was like, are you all right? And like, is this like, fine? <laughs> I got to a point where he, like, pulled really hard, and he was like, ah! Ooh. And I took it off, and I, like, opened it a lot more. Yeah. And then I, like, started sucking his dick with the grapefruit, and, like, I felt like I, my jaw was starting to hurt. Uh-huh. I was like, I have been down here for uh, so long, uh-huh. and he's given me nothing. Yeah, he's he was definitely probably just, like... And then I finally, like, I, like, well, like, I looked up, and I was like... Are you good? Does this feel okay? Like, <laughs> yeah, like Well, you can both tell, right? Like when you're he, both like... Yeah. And he was like, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, you want me to keep going? And he's like, yeah, you can try. Like, try it. And then he's like, no. He's like... Just, no. He's like, I'm fucking a grapefruit. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know why people and then, fetishize it. And then, yeah. And then there was, like, juice dripping down, like, his butt crack. Ooh. And, like, it was just, like, it was, like, one bad thing after another. It was just, he, I was, like... And grapefruit juice steams. Like, picture grapefruit in your cut, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, if you have any open sores. That little cavity. That anal cavity. <laughs> Sticky, too. I just feel like it'd be a mess. And I'd overall, be, like... Yeah, overall, very disappointing, and I don't recommend. If it's done by two experienced people, you watch it, and you're, like, it's kind of hot, because you watch two experienced people, and they do it in a way that's, like, professionally done. Yeah. Well, like, we also, like, we only did it to, like... To do, see it? To, to do it, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, his, one of his buddies um, was, like, oh, yeah, like, me and my girlfriend tried it, you should try it. And he, he's, like, the kind of guy that, like... Because I was, like, didn't you ask him if it felt Did good? you ask him anything? And he was like, yeah, I did. And all I got back was, like, yeah, try it. Then you're like, no, no, no. I need okay, you to describe like, it. Yeah. Like, what happened. Like, I need like, to know. De- like, I don't, guys don't talk I about it. I won't give you detail for detail. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? step by step. So. Yeah. Anyways. If you're going to try it. Warm up that baby. Warm it up way longer. Um, make sure the hole is, like, decently sized. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I, I just kind of imagined it, like, expanding. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But uh, when it's cold, it's, like, rigid. Not, like, it, like, cold, but, like, like the cold, inner but, like, is cold. And it's kind of like... I feel like an or I don't know, I felt like it would... You know what I felt like it would break apart, like? Um, like a mandarin uh-huh, with no skin like... that's been sitting in, like, juice. Yeah. Ooh. I think that's what I, like, imagined. You're like, it'll just, it'll just work. Like, it'll yeah. fit. It's like an elastic. You're like, I'll make it work. Yeah. By the end of it, like, yeah, like, he was, like, he was, like, I was getting off when it was just you sucking my dick. Yeah. And he's, like, when you added in the grapefruit, it's it was too just, much. He was, like, I knew it was a grapefruit. And you're, like, more focused. You're trying really hard to, like, not focus on thinking about it, but also focus on being turned on. And, like, then once you're thinking about it, it's too far gone. Yeah, he was, like, he, he was, like I, was just, like, I was trying to concentrate. But you can't, like, once you're catching yourself trying to concentrate, you're, like, oof. Yeah. Game over. Not that I don't really, like, not that I didn't really care. Like, no. we cleaned up when we had sex after. Yeah, right? Like, you're fine, but, like. I was nervous because um, I had gotten laser that day on my vagina for the very first time. I'm so excited. But, anyways, I was, like, really swollen and red and, like, kind of tender right after. So, I was, like, banking on the grapefruit thing happening so we didn't have to have sex because yeah. I was still kind of tender. Someone that didn't happen, I was like, ugh. But well, you waited, right? You had, like, a night of rest? Yeah. We were going to have sex after, and then I, I was I was too high. Well, not that we, we didn't plan on having sex after, but, like, I assumed, and I think he assumed. <laughs> but then we ended up watching um, fucking uh, the, the, the Morning the, Show. The Morning Show. So um, good. I love Jennifer it. Jennifer Aniston. We watched it by mistake while we were waiting. Actually, Ben just kind of threw it on. And then, like, halfway through, we were both kind of like, like, stop what we were doing and sat down on the couch and we were like, it's kind of good. And then yeah. you guys came over and we were like, are y'all down? Or like... Uh, I love how you guys were very, like, nonchalant. Because we were like, what, what should we watch while we wait? Yeah. And like, not we didn't really care. And like, I know you guys wouldn't care, but Ben was like, Could just uh, throw on the morning show. Cool with you guys. Cool with you. We're cool like, you okay, anyways, Ben's so funny. He gets so anxious about stuff. I'm like, just relax. Just relax. Put it on. But yeah, I ended up fucking loving it. Mm-hmm. It's great. 
so far. I've only seen one episode, but I already know it's going to be good. Well, I've seen good. a few, so. I know Reese Witherspoon's going to be good. Um, Jenny Ann from The Block. <laughs> and Steve Carell, obviously, who I can't get out of my head as Michael Scott. Yeah. It just isn't happening. Like, everything he says, I'm like, mm, Michael. Oh, well, yeah, a few things. Like, I find the more you watch, like, the more you, like, buy his character. Mm-hmm. But, he's um, a good actor. He's done, like, big roles. He really is, though. He put on, like, a fat suit for that one movie. You remember that? I never watched it. I didn't watch it, but I just... I remember the hype. Yeah. Even Hubert was like, um... He was like, I, he was like, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but I'm really enjoying it. I was like, me too! Hey! He never, like... He doesn't like the kinds of shows I watch. So, any show? <laughs> yes. He doesn't seem like a TV show kind of guy. He's a movie guy. He's a movie guy. He doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like he wants to commit to a show, like, each season, you it's, know? It's way too much commitment. It's too much. He'd rather just sit down and be like, done. Get and then the not think about it. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. I was telling... Because I was telling him... I think I've mentioned this before on, like, earlier podcasts, but I, um... When I, like, consume a show that I like, I, like, go all in. Like, it consumes me. And, like, I'll get, like extra depressed because I'm, like, living through this TV show, and I, I just get so attached that it's, like, sometimes <coughs> I can't, I can't handle it you emotionally. You can't, like, disconnect their so, emotion from yours. So I won't start a new show because of that. And, um, Exhibit A, how many times have you watched Friends, like, front to back? Actually, not as many as you would think. Grey's Anatomy? Well, Grey's, Grey's Anatomy, Anatomy has no end. Grey's Anatomy would be the one, though, that I would watch. Yeah. Like, over and over again. He's I haven't good. in so long because I haven't in so long because I know that I'll, I'll reattach. I want season. I've been stuck on season three of Grey's Anatomy for about four years now. What season three is so good? It is good. I just don't have time to like. really... I know. I I'll watch it and I'll be like, that was good, and then come back to it three months later and be like, oh, yeah. I'm the opposite. I'll watch one episode and I'll be like, I remember why I love this show. Yeah. And then I'll just like binge. Because the thing is like, at this point, I've seen it so many times and I've watched it from since I was so young. That when it comes on, I feel like an emotional attachment You're like, to it. Oh, it's an old friend. Hey. I'm like, yeah, I miss like, this. Watching the, the morning show, it. hearing Jennifer Aniston's voice, I was like, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> she felt it felt right. Or like hearing J Lo's voice, I'm like, mm. take me home, Mama. He- hearing J Lo, I'm like, yeah. With that little, that's oh. right. Oh, that's right. She really hasn't done much. Like she's not that great of a singer. She's not that great of an actress. But still, people love it's her. It's one of the things I like about her, because I feel like... Not that she's not bad. Not that she's average. She's, she is she's she's mediocre, though. She's the greatest. Though. Like, but everyone loves her. But, like, she's so um, charismatic that you don't care. I'm like, she's the fun, cool aunt that I could go get drinks with and talk shit about our other relatives. With. It's the same thing about Vanessa Vangie and um, Alyssa Edwards. You're like, you're not really bringing it. It's like, you can't really follow through. You're a little messy. You're always late, yeah, but we you, fucking love you. I just love you. And they're like, you know. Like, that's literally what they said. Like, I think it was in an interview with Alaska. And for those of you who don't know, we're talking about drag queens. I feel but like if that you might don't have been obvious, now, but um, I think Alaska said in an interview that um, she was like, like, Alyssa shows up late to every rehearsal. Like, she's. <laughs> she would. And like, she'll look a mess. She, like, shit like that. And they're like, but we all, it's like, when it's her, it's okay. I read something at Foodland the other night. It was, like, regulations for work, and it was, like, cut your nails, blah, 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 hair net, and it was, like, shower before work every day. I was like, that's really specific. Do you know why, though? Because people come smelling. Like, this one guy that works for us in the kitchen. Oh, no. Sometimes smells so fucking bad. Sometimes they don't even know, and you're like, how like, do you not he, like, know? he, like, brings in his own waft, and we're all like, oh! <gasps> ben was telling me about a friend, um like, he had during school that they all lived with, and, like, his his feet just stunk. He worked, like, 12 hours at, like, Budweiser. He would work night shifts or whatever, and he had, like, extra sweaty feet. Shout out Julia. <laughs> Diaphoretic! <laughs> and then, um, so he would come home, take his socks off and put his feet up, and, like, the house had a separate group chat from him, being like, do y'all smell that? Oh my they, god. Sometimes they got up and left. Like, it was a common thing. It was so bad. Like, Ben had to get up and leave, like, during some hockey games they were all watching. He's like, I, I can't do it. It was that bad. People would sit, like, so far away from him and still have, like, trouble. Shit. And could you imagine being that person and not you... knowing? Like, you can, you can, 
Sometimes yeah. when you're just sweating a little bit, you're like, it's not that bad. But someone else is like, ooh. Yeah. Like, but you can smell when you smell. Yeah, like, if I finish, like, an 11 or 12-hour shift that, like, I was on my feet the whole day, like, running. Like, like you And then know. you get home, you take off your socks. You're like, you're like my feet stink. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to go I'm shower I'm going to shower, now. like, before I socialize. It's just a common thing. But for some guys, it's not. It's just guys. We just watched a TikTok where a guy was like, the dryer's not working. I'm using the laundry mat. And then the one roommate was like, hmm, let's check the laundry. And he opened the dryer and it was filled with lint, like that thick. Yeah. Like, y- y'all can sit the house He was like, did you check the lint catcher? He's and like, he the, was like what? the what? You're a full grown man. That's embarrassing. I got no respect for that. Right? Mm-mm. How does that happen? Uh uh-uh. uh. And you gotta call them out when they do it. Be like, you're dumb, man. Shape up. Shape up. Because then they'll never forget. Dumb shit. I, we just watched TikTok for like two hours before we we came here. Literally two hours. We were going to come home from the gym and record. I don't know what happened. We, well, we sat down and had something to eat. And the next thing you know, we're two hours deep in TikToks. And they were mainly, 80% were cat videos. I'm not going to lie to you. But 80% were definitely cat videos. But they're so worth it. Like, I, that's half the reason I'm on there is I love cats. They're so charismatic. I have a cat story. So, this week I've been super emotional because I haven't taken my antidepressants for like a week, which I was like, oopsie. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you're dizzy all the time and hungry, but also not hungry and nauseous and like. It's literally me even on my pills. Yeah, you're like, I, fuck. I you gotta up your dosage I can't probably. stand up without getting a head without rush. Without getting a head rush. It's bad. Well, you should take iron pills too. That's probably yeah. part of it. But my iron is normal. Like, I know, they took the blood test. I finally, I've never gotten my blood taken before. And I literally have all the symptoms of, like, anemia. Yeah. And I'm, like, finally getting my blood tested. I go to get it tested. Like, we're just waiting for the call to be like, yep, you're anemic. <laughs> you have cancer. From your blood, we got that. That's bad. <laughs> Come in now. Come here now. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> what was I saying? We're still on the quest to figure out what's wrong with you. Oh, yeah. They call me back, and they're like, no, your blood's great. Yeah. I was like, you must have mixed it up. That's not my blood. I have to go get my blood taken tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? Didn't you just get it taken? Doctor's orders? No. Oh, doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. <laughs> so, I got a text. I was at Ben's. It's like 1230. We're supposed to be staying up all night. Because he's on night shift. So, I was trying to stay up as late as I could. My mom sends me a text at like 1215 with a big paragraph. And I was like, this can't be good. Who would die? <laughs> She's like, AJ's not doing well. He's like, not acting like himself he got right in the kennel which he never does and I was like (sighs) like right when I read it I was like Ben was like what what because we were literally we were on TikTok we were like hey 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 and then it was like and I was like oh uh oh uh oh and I just started bawling and I was like he's so prior to that day like literally Tuesday night or Tuesday morning technically was the, like, that prior weekend, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. The weekend the, prior? The weekend prior. The weekend prior, I saw a cat get put down and, like, another cat come in dead. And so I was like, <gasps> like, fresh on, like, a dead cat. Like, I know what they look like and feel like, which is fucked up. You don't want a picture. And you're just off because you haven't been on your pills. I'm just off. So, like, the whole time I was, like, like, it, it felt so deaf. Tr- I was like, I can't even describe how this feels to you. This fe- Like, to Ben, I was like, this, this feels so, like important right now like so serious i mean it was and then <clears throat> fucking she's like you need to come home in the morning so i was like fuck man we were gonna stay up all night and now we gotta get up early so we got like four hours of, not even he probably got like two hours of sleep and then we go to my house and there he is in the morning sitting on the table just fucking fine me and him, me and ben looked at him and we were just like fuck you man you bitch. It's a dick move. It's a dick move. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna die, like, a day before his birthday. Just to be like... He's gonna die, like, 12 a.m. after the whole day of his birthday is done. I would appreciate that. <laughs> like, that he was, knows. Like, he, like, he made it to 24, and at the end of the day, he's like... <sighs> oh. I'm like, I'm with him. I'm like, you can go. At this point, that's the only way I can see him dying. That's the only However, way. However, it's... And, like his birthday so soon that I'm like it can't happen. I'm so I'm so nervous. So it's on the twelfth. So what is day? What is it? It's twenty first today. So we're like counting down the days. Like we're getting to the prime time here. So like if he KOs, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm yeah. gonna be actually mad. But also 
It felt very real, and it felt like he was going to die, because he is 23, so he could die any time. He's basically 24. He's basically dead. <laughs> so, like, I was freaking out. I was like... <laughs> Legally, he is dead. He but... is dead. Like, pronounced. Um, I was just picturing him being in pain, and me mm. not being there, and, like, coming home, finding him dead already. I was like, oh my god, I didn't even say goodbye. Like, he swatted me when we left. Like, I was like, he hates me. It was awful. And then Jasmine Burke kept posting pictures. She looks hot as shit. She's on vacation right now. I was like, look at her fucking body. It's so fucking unreal. You see this? He's like, maybe we should, like, go off social media for a bit. I was like, I don't want to do that. Like, everything, everything someone suggests to you is just not what you want, but you don't know what you want. It's so earth shattering. Oh. And then I got my prescription, so I'm back on it. I took it before I left, so day two of taking our pills. Yay! Surprisingly, I've been on track. What's that's, going on? That's out, of, that's out of the ordinary. And that's that on that. I feel better yeah. already. Like, day two, I'm like, back in the game, baby. Not fully. Yeah. But. I've also, like, because me and he were, like, sleep over together so much, mm-hmm. he is, like, really good about being a good person, and uh, it, makes it keeps me you wanna, on track. Makes me want to... Makes you want to get up. Get up. <laughs> Like, and be up. I'll, like, get up, and he's like, you can go back to bed. And you're like, no, I kind of want to hang like, out. I'm like, no, I'll stay up. And he's like, I know you want, like, he's to like, sleep. I know you want to go back to bed. Why? Does he get up early? And I'm like, ah, I'll get up. Like, what time? Like, not even, like, he gets up early, but he understands how much I love but to like, sleep. please. Yeah. But then I'm like, no, I should, it's late enough that I should get up. <laughs> It's easier because he's there. It's so nice to, like, wake up and be, like, just flopping. Me and Ben will, like, flop and then somehow end up, like, flopped onto the wall and just (laughs) move around the room. And it just feels right. Like, no words. It's kind of weird. I love that. And then my face will end up, like, on his butt cheek or something. And I'm like, home. (laughs) Some shit like that. So weird. But it feels so normal. That's so fun. And with a cat in the mix... Life would be perfect. Listen, man. What about a cat named Otis? I love that. <clears throat> I kind of like the name Otis for, like, a kid. Yeah. But. Odie. Oatster. I love it. Udi. That's that's Rosie's dog. Shout out Rosie, who just had foot surgery. Hopefully you're doing well, bro. Yeah, right? We Thank God, him. though. She needed that surgery for year, years. She needed that. This poor woman, like, was seen hobbling around. Also, guys, check this out. I don't know what this is, and it's itchy right now, so I'm gonna scratch it. But um, yeah, she's she's got a rash. Do on you her see neck that right shit now. right now? Yeah, it's a rash. I look like I got a snake bite. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. oh you got a snake bite though? Oh yeah. You, you know, know how I know? I know? <laughs> Yo, you fucking lying, bro. But you're you, like, you, you've like you've been like biting and shit. You've been not like red and shit. Oh shit! Stop! <laughs> oh my god! You want me to suck it out? Oh my god! No! Oh my, oh my god! god. How you playing? <laughs> no one knows what we're talking about. Maybe if you do, it's, <laughs> a, tic- it's a TikTok, it's like and I a, hate that it's that's... It's like a theme that's going on right now, though. Oh my god, you're lying. It's like the Toronto man, like Brampton man. Being like, like that's Shut like up, how they, bro. like, that's the... Man. You make fun of them. Stop saying Yo, let me find dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you right back, bro. So I don't know what the tea is, because, um... I got... Oh, I got my pap done today, everyone. Shout out your pap smear. Yay, we each just got our first our pap, pap done. done. I came home with this, and my mom's like, you didn't ask her about the rash? I love how she's, up, like, automatically she's an so Italian wiping. mom. What? You didn't ask her about the rash? <laughs> I was like, what? Should I? Should I have? Is it that bad? She's like, it's not looking good. If it was that bad, your doctor would have said something. Well, unless she was like, ugh, I'm not touching that. <laughs> That's a problem for the walk-in clinic. <laughs> she's like, anyways, it's 3.45, and my shift ends at my my... my I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> a stroke. Um, lay her down. Don't put anything in her mouth. Diaphoretic. She's not diabetic. Diaphoretic. 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 <laughs> D D D D D. Okay, go ahead. I, I, uh, you were gonna say something. What was I saying? Uh, yeah. Dang it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That was awesome. What that was, was I awesome. saying? That was awesome. I took one. Name. This is what happens when... <laughs> Data bar. Sin. Hold on, hold on. You're going too fast. Hold on. Five, okay. four, seven. Two, five. Okay. Okay. 
Which, Ma'am, that's not a medical emergency. <laughs> you have to go up to the sixth floor, take to the left, and go help the lady there. Ma'am, I don't know. <laughs> I like how she starts off being like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah. Literally me, when I worked at, like, Foodland, like, I would like dead ass be, like, with my back turned to the customer, like, laughing with Rosie, and then mm-hmm. Rosie would be like, mm. And I'd turn around and be like, <laughs> We, me and Taddy do that all Hi, how are you? Taddy's so funny because, like, she doesn't give a fuck, so she'll be like, Man, I told them I ain't fucking doing none of that shit! And there's someone right behind her, and they're like... And she's like, oh, shit, sorry about that. What can I get you? <laughs> well, sometimes there'll be, like, someone waiting at the, like, um, like, when you walk in at the door, and I'll For, be, like, like by the, the pig ki- Yeah, or? sorry, okay, so I'll be by the kitchen, and i be like, no, I'm serious. That's what she said. I'm not lying. But, like, as I'm walking backwards... And, and you're like, I, right I, when I get there, I'm like, hi for two. There's, um, today at Foodland, a little tea. Not today, this week. Um, a woman had a stroke. Sorry about that. Poor woman. She, uh, just collapsed twice. And John was so casual, he's like, might want to call an ambulance. I thought he was fucking around, and I was like, do we really need one? And I was like, oh, God, she don't look good. <laughs> she was like, so red in the face she did not she couldn't even carry her own weight she was a bigger woman so she was like already kind of slouched over on the chair she was sweating she was drooling so much and like when you talked to her she didn't even like nothing was there it was kind of scary yeah and then two paramedics couldn't lift her and they had to get the fire department as well so that's six people Ooh, sorry hon. on a stretcher like when she was in the on the stretcher i was just looking at her thinking like I never want to get to that point in my life where I'm at that age and I'm in that condition. Like, there are people this age or that age, which were, like, 50-ish, that are, like, very healthy and, like, maintain a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Sucks that it happens. Man. But how does it happen, though? It just does. Maybe she's a smoker. (laughs) Trying to think of, like, cardiac diseases and respiratory diseases, but... Maybe she got high cholesterol. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what she got. I want to know, she though. Got. She had really low blood pressure, so. Did I ever talk about that time that a woman, like, had a seizure right outside of Foodland, and they, like, called me up to the front to go deal with it? You're like, I, what? I think I was 17 or 18. You're like, bro. And I went outside, and, like. You're like. <laughs> I was like. Me or her? What? <laughs> stop. stop. Me I or think her? I think he's calling you. Oh, girl, I think oh they're calling stop. you. <laughs> <laughs> I watch way too many. I know. I hate. I hate that Nicki Minaj laughs like that. She puts her hand in everything. She got her long ass nails and she goes. Eh. Oh my god! When they go like this. Uh, yeah. I hate that. They always bend their. I they mean, go. Their nails are also a bit long, but they always like bend their fingers back. Like not just like this. They go. I don't. It's so intense. What was the reason? <laughs> That's Cardi B. Yeah, I know. I didn't know what it was. Have but... you seen the video? No. Uh, keep telling your story. I'll, I'll look it up. What was I talking about? Ooh. I took one long... long. See, this is what happens when you... When Don't you're like, it. I'm not smoking weed. Uh, and Can then... You pass me your phone? And then all of a sudden, like, you're like... Back in it. Back in it, but you haven't hit it for so long, so it's so much stronger. Uh-huh. It's kind of nice. It is nice. It's thoughtful. It's nice... <laughs> It's nice with those that you can, like, gauge it yourself. Like, one hit and you're like, okay, I can control how I feel. Mm-hmm. 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 But on the other hand, um, I keep forgetting my fucking train of thought. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is Cardi. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't even need to explain myself to you. Damn. She's fucking... I love Cardi. I love that she really just fucking says whatever the fuck she, she wants. She doesn't fucking care. I was thinking about that at the gym today. Or like, you know when you're driving and your music loud and then you pull up to a light and you kind of just turn it down a little bit because there's people around? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're like, don't them to like hear what I'm listening to or like think I'm listening to it too loud or whatever. And then I was like, you know what? Why do I care? You know what? I didn't realize how loud the music sounds from outside. the outside. Like until one time, I like pulled up in my driveway and got out of the car, and my dad was like, "You were really 
bump in there. And you're like, uh, I was, what? I didn't even think it was that loud. It's, it doesn't sound that loud in the car, and then, like, when you're outside or you get into someone's car. And the car's car, like, whoa, 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 and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. but then you get in, you're like, hey. Uh, it's just so good. Driving with music. I wonder who invented cars and then was like, you know what we should put in here? A radio. <laughs> Do you ever think about that? Was a car made with a radio already? Or were, did they add that? Definitely add it. I Later on. Definitely add it, yeah. Obviously. They didn't have the technology, honey. Because you just honey. need, like, um, like, an antenna. They used to just bring live bands with them. I, I thought that was correct. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. Neil Diamond got big. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, how did he, did he attack other cars? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because I, I would always follow that car. See, if they were you would the... think. I should call him <laughs> up and ask him. He's dead, you bitch. He's well, diabetic. <laughs> he, he was, was shooting, shooting up in the him. front seat. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> he's diabetic. Oh, God. <laughs> who ever? I don't know who we, we are. We haven't quoted something like, we haven't like had like a quote conversation in a while. Like Vine just gave us so many outlets and now TikTok is like it's, it's, it's daughter, you know? Yeah, it's a mix It's of, offspring. It's a mix of, um, so what did someone say? It was a mix of like Vine and like, and Twitter? uh, Musical.ly. Oh yeah, remember Musical.ly? <laughs> that shit flopped. Try Maybe it. for you it did. Oh, you still have an account, bitch. <laughs> I'm thriving. Speaking of accounts, you need to change your fucking banks. <laughs> I know, you guys. I'm sure I've explained the fraud story a while back, but they, so they, um, basically, like, whatever stupid fucking charges happened, and they're like, well, we no longer trust your account, so you can't deposit at an ATM. You have to go in, and every single time I go to deposit, they try and hold. They, like, they only release 100, and they hold the rest. So I have to do this every fucking two weeks. When I get paid for work, I have to go to the bank, and then I have to explain to the teller that even though there's a million prompts on my screen, you can, in fact, give me all my money. And it's so annoying. Like, they have to call over the manager. They have to ask me questions. It happens every two fucking weeks. Each time, and you're, like, so annoyed each time. I'm so annoyed at this point. And, like, the last time I went in, I said to the guy, <coughs> I was like, does it fucking say how much longer this is going to last for? This is ridiculous. I have no control over my own account. Mm-hmm. I can't fucking deposit my check in a fucking ATM and take out my money. Like, are you fucking serious? Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like, well, let me check if there's an expiry. And he was like, one more year. And you're like, another year? I was like, another year? <laughs> and, and when does that mean, like, specifically? Like, give me a date, like, you know? what the fuck? That's fucked. And it's so annoying that each time you're like, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen, and you're not going to listen yeah. to me, but this is what's going to happen. I can I can tell which bank tellers are, are, gonna be like, mm-hmm. are, are, are reading and going okay, and which ones are going type, 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 like, type, 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 type. And after a minute doing. of typing, I said... If you're wondering why there's a million problems on my screen, there was a fraud charge, it's been dealt with, you can have your manager say that I can have all my money. Like, have you ever dealt with someone who's had you multiple times and still done it? Um, that's a good question. So I'm never at the same bank. Uh, you wouldn't remember? I either deposit it in Strath or I deposit it at my own bank. So uh-huh. between the turnover, I've never had, I don't think at least. No. Maybe, I feel like maybe, if they did... Actually, maybe once in Strathroy. Oh. But it was one of, like, the manager girls. So, like, she came and she was like, hey, hon. do 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 Yeah. Do, do, do. And yeah. Else, I was like, fucking thank you. Fuck, man. Like, you gotta also look at the situation. Like, you don't seem like a person who would get... A very non-threatening white you're like, girl. Listen, I, I can explain. Like, normal people who actually were in trouble wouldn't say a lot of shit, you know? Yeah. Well, that's, so. what, that's what they, like, blocked my account for. They were like, it needs to be under investigation for further. I was like, so I get fucking fraud. I get fraudulent charges. <laughs> like, what happens to the other guy? Through my secure bank. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm the one who's fucking punished? Like, y'all didn't secure the check? So then I was like. I'm trying to secure the bag. I was like, how do I switch banks? Yeah. Let me get the is, fuck out of here. ridiculous. Yeah, TD's kind of I could tell the manager was like, Ugh. I don't care. Like, well, somebody has to. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her. She's dancing, dancing like, like a stripper. stripper. 
Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. I love you, babe. Well, I got nothing really else to say. <laughs> really? I'm like trying to think. I feel like I had so much. I guess not much. Not much we happened. went bowling. That was fun. That was fun. I'm so... That was fun. It's so... I can't even imagine people getting good at bowling. Like, how do you practice that? You know? You have to go... You gotta hit those lanes. You gotta hit them every day and night, man. But thing, it's just like a... It's just going out. Like, er, like <laughs> realistically, like, every time you want to go out, you could just go bowling. And that's how you'd get better. Maybe if you have a lane at your easy disposal... Um, what do you know? Someone who owns a lane. When you're a member at the Palisade, they have little name tags right at the front of the lane. It's reserved. That's reserved. That's my lane, punk. Every Tuesday, three o'clock. This is my fucking lane, bitch. Wiping the ball. I was with Selena. We were both grabbing our bowling balls, and I was like, "Do you ever think about how many fingies were in here?" And I was like, and left. I she know. was like, "Oh." <laughs> it's like someone would be like. Oh my. She was like, oh god. <laughs> I That's was like, so good funny. luck. <laughs> Don't slip. Oh man. I spent so much fucking money at the palace, I, y'all. I didn't realize how much the drinks were there. I thought I was ordering like a $6 drink, like a $7 drink. Like each drink was average $12 to $14. That pink one was $13. Uh-huh. I was like, it was real good. Ah. I had two of them. I did not realize. I have three of them. <laughs> It gave me this little glass, and when I ordered it, like, I obviously didn't look at the price because I never fucking do. What a fucking steal. But like, when I ordered, ordered it, they brought over, like, this little petite, like, drink. It was so cute. And I was like, this motherfucker better pack a punch. It looked like it was in, like, the Titanic. I know, but it was, like, grapefruit, so when you had that first sip to try it, it was delicious and tart and fresh that it made you just want to sip it. And, and put it on the dick. I was like, well... At first. I think the title of this episode sh- episode should be Grapefruit. Just Grapefruit It. Grapefruit It? Grapefruit Your Man. Grapefruit Your Man. I think that's a good one. No, don't Grapefruit Your Man. Don't! Oh, no. Should you Grapefruit Your Man? You know what I like about that? Hmm. They don't get the answer right they away. They don't get the answer. And that's you! Clickbait! <laughs> we both went, you! <laughs> I don't even think AJ watches. I read the- AJ doesn't fucking watch this? It was so funny. I was lying in bed. I already told you this, but I'll tell you again. It was so funny. I sent it to Ben so quick, like, right on Twitter. I was like, someone needs to read this right now. It was like, I'm sorry, but if your name starts with either an A or a J, you ain't shit. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. And I wanted to, like, shove it in his face and make him read it. Read this, AJ. But I'd feel so bad if he died that night. I'd be like, oh. I don't know what I want more is to, like, have him- be put down if he's in pain or, like, wake up and see him dead. I think I'd rather wake up and find him dead. Huh. That's tough. I keep forgetting he's gonna die, because, like, I got so lucky the other night, and I was like, oh, never mind, we don't have to deal with that ever again. Like, you, he could die the next day. Yeah. The thing with putting him down is that at least you get to say goodbye. Yeah. Oh, God. I was not in a good place. I was like, this is too much. And then, <laughs> oh, my God. Everything was dropping. Me and Ben were at the gym. I did not want to work out. And then I was like, we should get freshy because I had a gift card. Mm. We checked. And it was, for some reason, all the freshies were closed, apparently. What? It said closed, 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 closed everywhere. And I was like, family day was yesterday. Hmm. And so we were in the gym and I was like, I was so, I was so crazy. I was like. <laughs> the fuck? He was like. It's just a closed restaurant. It's just a closed restaurant. I'll call. I was like, ah, okay. okay. I just wanted freshie so bad. I was so hungry. I was like, of course they would all be closed. That's funny. I could really go for the Buddha. Oh, okay. So they have a new vegan bowl of chili with Beyond Meat Ooh. crumbles. And they can put Beyond Meat crumbles in bowls. And they have a new, like, oh, 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 Saka ball? Bowl or something? Ball, ball, ball. Ball. <laughs> it's Maya Rudolph. Oh, baby. Nice little bubble bear. Bubble bear. I haven't done that one in a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, we went there and I was like, this shit's bomb. It was so I good. I there. Because every time now I, I either go to like Pita Pit, Qdoba. Oh my God. Oh, that shit's good. That I've been riding that Qdoba wave, man. Me too. I would like pull up to go to Freshie and then and see then the be Qdoba like, there and be no. like, I, 
I gotta go here. First of all, they have they better gotta hours here. <laughs> John, John, John Cattucci. That's um, John Cattucci. I love saying his full name. John Cattucci. And I love going to Prince Al's. It's Niles a nice last saying, name. Like, if I ever go to Prince Al's, Prince Al's with someone... Prince Al's. <laughs> if I ever go to Prince Al's with someone new, I always go, did you know oh, no. John Cattucci of You Gotta Eat Here? Ain't here? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no. Each time being been dragged by a house, I've said it, I think I said it a few times. Like, we drove by the same house and I was like, Oh my god, that's gorgeous. It was like a brand new house. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd love to live there. And now each, I think I said it like three times in a row one time, just because I forget. <laughs> yeah. And then now each time he goes, oh my god, did you see this house? <laughs> each time. And like before he even said it the one time, I was like, don't. <laughs> and he was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Now that's I hate a- the house. I'm like, fucking hate the house. <laughs> it's so Stupid. funny. Stupid. And he never forgets. And each time we pass, I'm like, <laughs> when I get up on it, lust. I want to make a Just vine or from a TikTok like that. So funny. Oh. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah. I guess I could. Uh, ding. Will you grapefruit me? Ding. Ouch! The sting. Ding. You'd feel the sting right away. That's what I'm thinking too. Is like I don't, penis, I don't think you would with the penis hole. Don't you think your juice would get in there and you'd feel a little sensitive in there, especially if that's like a real sensitive area. Yeah. That's a real tough, sensitive area. Tough, tough, That's uh, the, That's why you gotta master the mouth on that area and then just keep it low. But then well, yeah, so you like gotta get to it, that point, there, you know? But it, I don't think it would be enough. No, and some sometimes it's just not be, as like, hot as you think it's it gonna in. be, you know? For whatever you're fantasizing, you try it and then you're like, eh. Like, or you think you'd like it and you didn't. Yeah, it's unfortunate. At least it's experimenting not, it's, is fun. This is not something that's like... Like, you want to try it. That's, like, a regular th- thing. Yeah. It's, like, a little special a little occasion. Whatever, it's, like, a little, yeah. a little date at the keg. Say it to say that you did it. Yeah. North Korea, stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> North we did it. North Korea, stop it now. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, that's funny. Anyways, should you grape for your man? I say no. I say I'll keep you posted because I can't knock it till I try it. That's fair. But I think I would lean towards... You can learn from my mistakes. Well, I'll just warm it up more and maybe get a bigger one. Like, to cut out more. It's, it's, um... No, there's plenty. There's plenty of juice to go around. There's plenty of grapefruit to cut bigger. I just didn't cut big enough. Well, I'll keep you posted on that then. Yeah. Uh, once again... Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much. This has been Nonsense. Nonsense. Goodbye. Goodbye now.